Hello everybody and welcome to my 11th Visual Basic in Excel tutorial. This tutorial is going to be continued from the previous tutorials on if statements and I'm going to show you a handy trick with how to hide columns. Uh, so this is a little spreadsheet I've put together. It's, it's all about animals and you've got name of the animal, age, colour, habitat and then we've got three different types of animal we've got dog, cat and fish and then just a couple of little bits of information uh, that would relate to just them and not the other animals and then this here, this little drop down box allows you to select which animal you're filling in so and then we've got a little select button here. Uh, what I want it to be doing is, instead of having the whole thing, I want it to only show the section for the animal that's selected up here by hiding the other two. So, if I open up my editor with Alt plus F11 and create a new module, and then I'm going to have sub command module select animal and then the first thing I want to do is to take the value of this cell and put it into a variable so um, what type of variable we're going to need well I'm going to be putting in text so I want it to be a string so dim animal as string and I want to take the value of animal I want to put the value of whatever they filled in there into animal so it's cell 3 to so this workbook dot sheet sheet 1 dot cells 3 comma 2 dot value so now we've got the value of that cell and now you probably know from Excel that you can select cells, you can right click on them and you can hide and uh, if you highlight them again and click unhide then it unhides them for you. Uh, you can do this using commands in Visual Basic as well and it's going to be using a, a type of uh, object which is similar to the range property so, we have this workbook dot sheets sheet one dot and then we want to select what we're selecting here so we're selecting the columns E to J so we want columns and then E to J so columns is pretty much similar. You can put range like this but because you can only hide columns or rows you either need to have columns like this or you can use uh, a rows property as well and have say 1 to 3, rows 1 to 3. But we want columns and we want E to J and then we want dot hidden. So this isn't doing anything at the moment, this is just uh, selecting that we want to amend whether or not the cells are hidden. So we want to put the, the equal to true. Notice how true highlights itself in blue is because it's a keyword. So it will set the fact that whether or not these columns are hidden to true. So if I run this now, let's assign it to this button. Okay, and if we press this, then they've gone. They've disappeared. So how do we unhide them? Well, it's pretty simple. You just change that to false. So hidden equals false. So if we run this again, and they're back again. We want it true for now. 
then we want it to have an if statement f based off of this cell so based off of whether it is or not is each animal so we want if animal equals dog then do something there and we want if animal equals cat then do that bit of code and if animal equals fish then, then do that bit of case. Okay, so we've got three different areas now to work in. We've got this area that's only going to happen if it's dog, this area that's only going to happen if it's cat, and this area that's only going to happen if it's fish. So if we put in here, we want to make if it's dog, we want the E to F to be unhidden. So this workbook dot sheet sheet one dot columns. We want E to F dot hidden, and we want it to be false. And these need to be input in as a string. Let's tidy that up a bit. So, if animal equals dog, then we're going to unhide the columns for dog. And we want this to be exactly the same for cat. So we don't want it to be E to F, we want it to be G to H. So, G to H. And then tidy that up a bit. And then paste this in again for fish, but for fish we want it to be I to J. So I J. Okay. So that's it, that's our code. Now I'm gonna show you what this does, so if I select uh, none of the cells, then okay, it should be hiding them. So I've made a mistake here and I've made it equal to dog whereas really I need to make it see if it's equal to the string dog. This is very important and I'm kind of glad I've made this mistake because it's quite a common mistake to make. So I can show you how to spot it. So make sure if you're testing whether or not a string variable is equal to a string, you have to declare the string in speech marks. So if we click select now, then they've gone. Fantastic. And if we select dog, then watch this, dog appears. And if we select cat, then cat appears. And if we select fish, fish appears. This is really useful for if you've got lots of different people filling out a database but they all have different bits of the database they want to fill out. If you've got loads of columns across the top you can get it to only select the ones that they need to fill in. And that's if statements covered for now and uh, in the next tutorial we're going to be going on to loops. So, Thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in my later tutorials.